uh, King Kingori, all the way from Nakuru. God bless you. And um, Bishop Anibal, I will give uh, apostles a time, uh, a couple time to, you know, give you the word. I see Amisha Marik, God bless you for watching. Isaac Ndegwa, Joan K. K. Kuhi, Kuni, Harry, Zach, Anthony Njoroge, thank you for watching. Joseph Kirema, we are waiting for you so that you can do the music. God bless you. Apostle, the floor is for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, our viewers. I'm so happy to be with uh, my friend Joseph, the man God has blessed and the God of the glory. And uh, we are here to, to bring the word of God because this is the time. Uh, it's the time it's good to, to, to encourage people who are locked in, but uh, Jesus is not locked in. And, uh, they have a good word. Uh, it's coming from uh, 1 John 4 because it's good to know who we are in Christ and what God is doing nowadays. And I believe you'll be ble blessed. So invite a friend. And in another uh, 25 minutes, I want to bring this word because I want to bring you this word. It's more prophetic about the end time because this is what God has called us to be in His places. And, um, I want to read the word, uh, our, our, our leading, I have a couple other verses I'll mention, but our leading is uh, in 1 John 4, uh, 1 17, because we are in the last days and God has called us to, 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 to occupy till he come, according to what Jesus said in, uh, in, in, in Luke, uh, Luke 19, verse 13, about occupy till we come. And there are many people, they are not teaching people how to occupy. They, are just getting people to go to heaven, but the, the, the vision of the Father uh, in our days is to, to, to let the church know that we are called to occupy. We must fill this world with the knowledge of His glory as a word of the sea. And uh, the Bible says, uh, this is uh, what, uh, the John, you know, John is, uh, was a great, great, great uh, servant of God. Uh, he was uh, the friend of Jesus, the closest apostle to Jesus, if you don't know that. And so many people, they don't know that the thing, if you want to receive the blessing from the Lord, it's not just to look what he has, but you need to be a friend. Because when you are his friend, according to John 15, he say when you become his friend, you are not a servant anymore, but you become a friend because a friend of somebody, uh, he can reveal his secrets. He can, tell you what he, uh, he can tell you what he's doing. And that's why I'm bringing this word, because I'm a friend of God now, almost 40 years, I've been preaching the word of God. And uh, according to John 15, the Bible says, really, it's our love made perfect. And many people, they only know about salvation and they know transformation. You know, salvation is for the spirit. And also transformation is in our soul, in our mind. But uh, we are in the days when God is calling the body of Christ to know we are coming to days of perfection. Perfection a perfection is a deeper thing. You can be perfected in many there are different levels. You can be perfected how you do things, and you can be perfected uh, in uh, how, how you listen, the word of God. But there's that perfection. Perfection is of the body. And uh, God wants us to represent him in this world. He has called the body of Christ this hour, and it's the greatest hour of the living. It's the best time to live in the days when Jesus is about to come. And the Bible says, there is our love made, made perfect that we may have boldness in the days of judgment because as he is uh, as he is so we are in this world as jesus is so in heaven so we are because you know in another place in the word of god because i want to speak the word of god the bible says in Revelation 6 that uh, we are seated together with him in heaven places and why i you want us to be bold because you know the boldness is something which uh, came to the apostles uh, after they were baptized the first time by the breathing to them in John 20. Uh, when he came, uh, John 20, 20, he says, and he came when they were locked, and they had a lockdown. And uh, they were locked down, they had locked themselves because they were feeling the Pharisees and Sadducees. Uh, and uh, they, they were feeling not to be killed, but they were locked in. But Jesus passed through the walls, and he came and said, peace be to you. Even now, I want to tell you, peace be to you. And also, he breathed on them and received and told them receive the Holy Spirit. And why he told them they receive the Holy Spirit? That was the first dimension. There is many dimensions of the Spirit of God. There are about twelve dimensions, but I'm not speaking about the dimension of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's not like move, it's not a weed, it's not a dove. He's a person, but he has many dimensions. As you continue to be his friend, 
he can reveal to you. So what I want to bring to you and to bring attention to you is that the body of Christ is not just called to, be, to go to heaven. We are called uh, young to occupy till he come. And also we are called to be as he is in heaven. So we are in this world. We may be bold to speak the word of God. And we are going to see something else also God is doing. Uh, if you have your Bible, today is a Sunday. And I uh, just came from another place uh, where I also am a mission that uh, group of uh, people, uh, the Native Indians, the Kako ship, were there doing the church in the parking lot. And it was wonderful. Because Kenny was preaching and I shared a bit. You can also see my Facebook, Apostle Jim Moniki. And uh, also yesterday I was teaching about the, you know, our prayer center. I was teaching about uh, about uh, the, 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 the the seal of the Lord. Because many people, they don't just know about the, the mark of the beast. But uh, we have the seal of God before the mark of the beast come. But that's something you can also see in my Facebook, which I was teaching. And I will continue also in that topic next uh, week, on Tuesday. And uh, also Saturday. It's a wonderful message people to know that this we are living. But uh, uh, we, why... What does it mean to, to be as he is in heaven so we are in the world? You know, somebody like Elijah was a man called by, just as we are called, uh, as James put it very clearly, that Elijah was a man like us, but, uh, uh, but he prayed God to move. To, he promised again is the weather. He, he controlled the weather. Elijah knew who he is. And why I'm bringing this message? Because uh, we are called uh, to be an Elijah company. An Elijah company is what... The Bible says, uh, uh, before the great day of the Lord come, Elijah the prophet. And why Elijah the prophet, if you, you have read that in Malachi 4, and also it's where we are going to see the son of Elijah rising with healing uh, to his people. And uh, the Bible says very clearly, the Elijah company, you know Elijah was a man who was just came from nowhere after King Solomon had and how many, many wives, and uh, God glory moved out of the temple, which was the most beautiful temple of uh, 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 of, uh, of, 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 there has never been a house, there had never been a temple like that of Solomon. But when Solomon uh, fell, fell there, he married many wives, God was moved from the temple to, to, to look for a man who was called Elijah. And Elijah, even when he came to, to the scene in First Kings 17, uh, the Bible says he came to Ahab, who was the king by then. Because he has come to, to, to be idol worshipped and to have idolatry. Just like as many nations and many people, they have turned to idol, idol worship. We are idol our money, we are idol our job, we are idol our, our popularity, we are idol many things this day. And also, uh, a lot of things which are not praising God. That's why God wants us to be bold in the time of the journey. Man. Not to judge the people, but we judge those systems. Yesterday I had an encounter of the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus revealed himself. We normally praise my wife in our homes. We have service every day. I had a vision of Jesus in the midst of heaven. And he had a big sword. And he told me he is coming to judge the systems of the world. Yes, the world is planning things which they think they are going to control the world. Let me tell you, Jesus is the, the owner of the heaven and earth. And also, this is a new estate of the heavenly father. And uh, also... So that's why I want to say, why God, and I want to tell you my reason today, that uh, you are the one called to be lifted by God as he is in, in the in the territory you are in your, in your domain. Because not just in the church, but if you are in business, <coughs> you need to, to be as he is in heaven. So you are in this world. If you are in the, the health sector, you need not just to treat people with the medication, you can also heal them. You can bind the, the thing which is destroying them. And uh, God is going to uh, bless you and lift you up and you will be uh, used of God. Because the Bible says in uh, Micah, the book of Micah is a powerful book. Of, it's a prophetic word for the last days. The Bible says, but in, that, but in the last day it shall come to pass that the mountain of the, the, of the house of the Lord shall be established on the top of the mountains. And it shall be exalted above hills, and people shall fall unto it. You know, uh, this may, and it also is a prophet word of Jerusalem, the physical Jerusalem, but the mountain of the Lord, you you yourself, you are Jerusalem. Revelation 3, verse 10, uh, verse 11, uh, and 10, and 12 says, God is looking people, he can make a pillar. He can make a pillar. It will be his city that he light upon them. His, the, his, his name and also his city, Jerusalem, 
and a new name, God only, a new, uh, God only, Jesus no. So you are the one to be present God wherever you are. So God wants to lift us up, that the mountain of the Lord, which is the mountain, the minister of the Holy Spirit, who the people who are in the Spirit, they will be lifted above the hill, it will be lifted above the systems of the world, it will be lifted above Kelowna spirit, Kelowna virus spirit, or other systems, New World Order. Many people are planning bad things against the church, just like Moledekai, I was mentioning that yesterday. Moledekai uh, was lifted by God, but there was a name we called Haman, and God lifted Esther to remove the fascity. The Lord is going to use the true church of Jesus, the one which is going to occupy till he come. And this is going to happen very quick. So the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above the hill. Every hill, every mountain, every challenge you are going, you can lift a standard. That's why another time we were trailing somewhere and we say God is calling us. When the enemy shall come like a fire, the Spirit of God shall raise a standard against him. And also the Bible say, raise a standard according to Zion. So if you want to be lifted above the hills and above the mountain, you need to, 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 to know who you are in Christ Jesus, that as he is in heaven, so you are in this world. And, and also, we are seated together in heaven in Christ Jesus. Also, don't forget this verse. I also mentioned it uh, in Luke 19, verse, uh, verse 13, that Bible say, the Bible said, Jesus said, occupy till he come. So many people are just preparing people to get out of the hill. To, to be snapped out of the world, but I don't tell, I don't feel, I don't believe that is what is coming first. We know one day when we finish the work, just like Elijah, Elijah was not taken to heaven before he finished the job. He was to judge the system as we have just led in John, that we may be born in the time of the judgment. So as he is in heaven, so we are in this world. So we must judge things you see in your neighborhood, wherever, in your place of work, whatever is not good. If somebody sick, you are there to take the, the, the dominion over that situation. So because you are the mountain of the Lord, and so many nations shall come, come unto it and say, uh, say, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the, of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us all his ways, and we will walk in his path. For the law, for the law shall go forth out of Zion. <clears throat> and I believe the Zion today is the church. And, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, Jerusalem, face for Jerusalem, is Easter because it will be the, 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 the city of Jesus. Jesus is coming to live for a thousand years at Jerusalem. That's where the word of God, but before Jesus comes physically, we are the people who are called the sign. So people are going to, you're going to be an attracting center. You're going to be a man and a woman of God who God is going to make, be a, like a spark to the world. And you're going to be used of God because God is releasing you a time as this, just like he released Esther in his time, he laid Moredekai, uh, and also he laid David when the, there was the enemy of God, which is called Goliath, the poor, uh, Saul was, was fearing, but uh, you know what happened, uh, what happened is uh, uh, that when Saul was fearing, God lifted David to take out Goliath, so we are the people to take Goliath, of our days. It doesn't matter whether the new world order is coming, whether there will be a land case or whether there will be the numbers. There are those people God is calling Revelation 15. The people lead just Revelation 13, the number of the beast and uh, don't, uh, you know, it causes fear. But there are some people who are going to have the beast and you are the one because, yeah, they are planning all those things through even, uh, we know, they are, we are having all these things about fascination and all and number. Don't worry. You just, just need to know we are just have the, the fire of Elijah. Elijah did not fear the king of then, the Ab. He stopped the lane. He judged the system. And then he came after three years when he stopped the lane. In fact, he was the one who judged the Ab. Because in another place I'll take you, you can go and lead for yourself. In First Corinthians 6, the Bible says, don't judge small matter because you don't know. And you are the one to judge the world and also the angels. If we are going to judge this world, system which are not godly, what about that? If we are going to judge also the angels, not bad angels, not good angels, is the principality of territories. We are there to take dominion, just like Daniel, when he fasted for 21 days, he was able to combat with the principality of Babylon, and he was able to shut it down until it looked for an enforcement, and we believe Daniel was able to do what he, did, he needed to do, and, uh, and I believe and I believe you are the one God has called that you may, may be the person. You may be the person. God is uh, doing something very powerful in your, li in your life and your days. You are not there to allow the devil to take your place. So 
we, we, we are the people to judge those systems. And that's why God, I mean, he lived here. And he shall judge among many people. Why, why is he going to judge? Because it's not you working. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. And God is going to help you to know this. Because the Bible says, I shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations. Even those nations have stinky to lace up against God afar off. And they shall beat their sword into proud shares and their spears into prime hoops. Nations shall not lift up sword against nations, neither shall they learn war anymore. Even the, the great war which are coming behind us, after this, the Lord is telling us, He's going to fight them. Because when I saw Jesus with that sword yesterday, it was an open vision, I saw him, and he told me he's coming to that this system. Because Christ has four figures. He has the, the man child, he has the ox, he has... The, the, the ego, and he has uh, he has the lion and the ego. And this time we are living, when he has come to judge this system, they are not godly, all and godly, or these things like homosexuality, uh, abortion, we have killed millions of children all over the world. Let me tell you, Jesus, what those children, and so he is coming to judge those things, because you may not worry what am I talking about. But they shall sit every man at, under his under his vine, under uh, his tree. And, and tree, and now shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. So God is promising his child, if you know who you are self, that you are going to, to, to enjoy the tree you have been cultivating. If you have been just cultivating on your fresh, if you have been just working for your own thing, you are going to enjoy your thing, but it is it's a pain. You need to walk in the Lord, because for all, for all people to walk everyone on his or one in his name of his God. The God you serve, that's the God who will help you. So you don't have a, a true God. Let me tell you, you're going to have a lifetime just like the time of Elijah. Those who didn't have the true God, let me tell you, they had a, a, a big problem. It's only the first prophet they were enjoying the meal of Jezebel, but Elijah was coming to, to come and shut them down. Hallelujah. So, Father, God wants you to know that you need to know him personally, not because you are following the religion of your mother or the religion of your mother. No, no. You personally, you need to know God because you're going to walk in the God of your father. And I will walk in my name and, and we will walk. We will walk in the, in the name of our Lord God forever and ever. In that day, says the Lord, I will assemble her, that is her, and I will gather her, that is driven out, and, the, and her that have been afflicted. <coughs> That's why I say in the church, the time also God is gathering the, the, the fiscal gift from 1948 and 68 we saw them coming back and also 1988 we saw a lot of the European Jew going back. God is gathering them and also God is gathering the body of Christ to bring to pass what Jesus prayed in John 17. So he is gathering those who have been afflicted, he is gathering to be a body of Christ which is, hello, uh, so, uh, so, so um, uh, it's what's something going on. So, so God is gathering His people to be a mighty army. The mighty army we see in Joel too. I'm mentioning many other things, but I want you to get this message because I want you to know what are you going to be Him? As He is in heaven, so are we. The first figure, He came like a man. He was born with child, the child, uh, uh, Mom Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, and then He became an ox. He was crucified on the cross. Then from there. Uh, now, this time Jesus is not a baby, it's not just a lamb. Now this time he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. But he's not going to be seen fighting and going from one city to say, no, he's going to walk through his church. Because you, when you see Jesus as Lord and Savior, you became the house of God. You became his representative. And we need to know that authority, because if you know this authority, it's going to help you. This is a big message I cannot finish today, but I'm showing because God is gathering, and that's what I've been preaching for that almost 30 years about the union of the body of Christ. I've been in 15 nations. I know this square where the eagles will gather, according to Matthew 24, is where the carcass will be. And God is looking people who are dead to self. Is that if you want to have this dominion, you must die to self and let Christ live in your spirit, soul, and body. God to rule it. And I will make her that is heart preeminent. There are going to be a lot of judgment, but God is looking, you are going to be one of the lemonades. And her that was cast up of straw, 
cast her, cast far off, straw by a strong nation, and the Lord shall lean over them in the Mount Zion and henceforth forever. I'm going somewhere. And there and that all towers of the flock, the stronghold of the daughters of Zion, and to thee shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughters of Jerusalem. This is what I want to tell you. Many people they have no clue that uh, that uh, that we are going to have the first dominion, the Lion of Judah, Christ Jesus, walking through us. We are going to have the first dominion twice, so we can judge the system, we can judge witchcraft, we can judge sorcery, we can judge new age, we can judge those satanic. Even the other day, in like the state we are here in Washington, they were no satanic. They were almost coming to the capital, and me and wife and another group we went there. We uh, we went there. And we were, ch we, we were fighting the whole night. And uh, this is what is going to happen. So because we, are, we know who we are, because we are getting the first dominion. The church is going to get the first dominion. And you are the one God is calling for this kind of work. And uh, the Bible says, continue to say, now why does thou cry out loud? So many children, because they are crying, oh God, oh die. You know, it's like now the economy is shut down. The things are not normal. Like this shut down. You don't need to cry. Just you need just to swing your wings like a mighty eagle and light on the when you know an eagle is a, a wonderful creature. When wind comes, when the storm comes, he doesn't just flap his wings like the small bird. He just swings his one and he he go over the storm. And that's why you need to be like that of the wing of the eagle. And we the Lord is calling you not to cry. Don't be uh, have just a pity party. Oh yeah, the coronavirus. Oh now nah, this disease. Whatever sickness, diabetes, uh, uh, like even how I feel, like people will be healed. And when they listen to this message, you can be healed any migraine headache. I fear somebody will be having migraine headache, even as I speak. That migraine headache could go. And somebody also with a bucket, even as I go, I feel that in the spirit, they are going to be healed in the same. There's also somebody been having leg problem. You have been swelling. Receive the healing as even you continue because you are there to go beyond any circumstance of this world there is so many they have financial that you don't know how to pay your mortgage you have no way to pay your money but god is telling me you are the one to judge the system you are the one to judge those things i'm going fast because i i have some few minutes remaining here be in pain what god is telling the church don't cry because you know they have been crying and the bible say is there is no king is is there is no king now why does thou cry out aloud is there is no king in thee? Is, is there a counselor perish? For paths have taken thee as a woman in trouble. So many children, children of God all over the world, they're failing. But God is saying, do you, you don't know the king of kings that lives in you. Jesus is in you, the hope of glory, as he is in heaven. So yeah, be in jo big pain. If you see this, it's a time to, to bring the man child in you. You know, Revelation 12 says that that woman was being terrorized by the dragon. And we know the dragon is trying to shut everything down. But uh, let me tell you, God is giving us the, 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 the wings of the eagle. That's why I tell you, you need to flap your wings wide and light the storm. So you need, if you have never fasted, take three days, five days, 40 days, 20 days. You are going to overcome all those things. Be in pain and labor to bring forth all daughters of sun like a woman in trouble. For now shall thou go forth out of, out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. And I shall go even to the Babylon. There shall thou be delivered there. The Lord shall redeem thee from the land of the, the enemy. You know, when Micah was prophesying, Israel was just in comfortable zone. But God said he was to come after 70 years. But also, in this life, day, we know there will be a time of seven years, a lot of problems. But God is telling you, you don't need to die. You don't need to even to get out of the world. Because Jesus is coming after the tribulation. I was living somewhere in the mother the for that he says after the tribulation also revelation 7 which are, we are teaching people with the miracle of the lord is after the tribulation that's why we are teaching that so the bible says you are not there to cry but you need to bring the march out you need to be paid labor bring forth our older thoughts of hell like i want to travel for now shall thou go yeah there'll be like time of of the wilderness but the time of the wilderness that's when joshua and caleb were discovered there are people like joshua there are people like caleb you are old people but the young people they need to get this now also many nations are gathered against thee. They are planning, the nations are planning how they are going to control the world. And this is very prophetic in Micah. How they are going to control the world with violence 
and all these things he are cooking because God told me he's not the one who brought it, but he allowed it so he can purify the church and also we can take our dominion. So they are trying to plan all these things. Now also many nations are gathering against they are gathering, the nations are gathering to bring new world order, but they don't know what God has in mind that say, let her be defiled and let our eyes look upon Simon. But they know not, listen now, they know not the thought of the Lord, neither understand the counsel, for he shall gather them in a, a chaff into the fold. God is going to bring them. And as the Bible says in Malachi 4, that the, the wicked and the proud, they will be under like ashes. God is going to make our food like the, the horse hoof. We are going to drive them because this time is not like the time the prophets were destroyed. It's not like the time when the apostles were killed. This is another season. The knowledge of his glory must cover the others who cover the sea. And the last verse here I want to read. Alice, this is what the Lord is saying. Alice now. Just like I said, Alice and child, for the light has come. Because the darkness is covering on the earth. But uh, here is what he say in Malachi, Ma Micah 4, that he say, Alice and Vresh, O daughter of Zion, church, for I will make thy horns. You have the horns. You have the horns. You know the bull horns. They fight. You have the horns. Because you have the horns to push the darkness. And you know the seventh spirit of God is like horns in Revelation 5. Like the one of the, the, the seven horns, in the seven spirit, the seven eyes of the Lord. You can know everything around you. That's why God is telling you, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will cons consecrate their gain unto thy Lord, and thy substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. This is what is happening. You know, I just took you very fast, but I want to tell you. We must reign until we come. We must occupy it. Because I have been asking this question, Bishop. I have my bishop friend of mine uh, with me, Bishop Blight. And, you know, I, I always wonder uh, when people, uh, they don't understand, uh, how is the knowledge of his glory shall cover the earth? If the church is not here, how is the church going to occupy? Who is going to fill this earth? We are the people. So why, as you are listening to me, if you have been going through challenges, I won't tell you, you are the one God wants to be in this. And you need to be bold enough. You are the one to be as he is in heaven. So you'll be on this world. It is the time the church of Jesus rises up. Because the, the, we are led to occupy till here. Because we are going to have a thousand years to live with him. You have to the last child will be just like maybe 150 days just like Noah. And then we come and live a thousand years, Joseph. Yes. Yeah, it's Revelation 20. Yes. Yeah, I'm so bored on this man. He's full of my bones. Yes. I am not that wimps who are just hiding in a corner somewhere. We are ready to take this thing yeah. with a bullhorn. I believe the time is now. Yeah. So I want to pray for you. Yes. Don't just have a, a period party if you have been having anything challenging. If your business is going down, you are there to swing your wings. Hallelujah. Because the church of Jesus is about to shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Hallelujah. That is Matthew 13, 43. And also we see this woman in Revelation 12 when uh, the, the, she was about to bring the man child. The man child is in us, the Christ, the hope of God in us. What Paul said in Corinthians there, you can go and lead for yourself, that's Corinthians. And also in Christ, we ourselves. 2 Corinthians says that you have the fullness. Jesus is a, is a, is a, is a is, a, is a, the habitation of the Godhead. And we are complete in him. We are not out. Not only that, he is about to fill us. And it's now, if you know who you are. I know what I'm talking about. I'm listening this to you. As the Bible says, that we may be filled with all fullness of God. Mm -hmm. If you are filled with all fullness of God, there's nothing can challenge us, Joseph. Yeah. Nothing can check us. So I release the dominion power. I release the end time anointing upon you. At least we are going to have big meeting. We are going to have stadium. We are going to have stadium. Let me tell you, the other day we had three million users watching them on 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 on, on Zoom. The other day I had more many products. We are on the line more than 164 people. Let me tell you, the lockdown has made it even us to come to you. Maybe you are just in your home, but you need to rise up. So I pray for you. 
If you're not born again, I want to give you a chance because this one is not for unborn again. You must be born again to be this company of the eagles, to be the company of the legend of Judah, the Christ in Nazareth, hope of glory. You must give your life to Jesus. If you are backslidden, if you have been a, 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 a lukewarm Christian, it's a time you must be hot, you cannot be cold because if you are cold, you'll be spewed out. You are the one to thresh the devil in your territory. So at least that power, at least that dominion. Amen. If you have sickness, you have something holding you up to you, I break it in the name of Jesus. We release the power of God in your life. So we are so thankful, uh, my brother Joe Roger, for yes. even having this uh, wonderful time to enjoy mm -hmm. the, the, just coming to your studio. And uh, I have a lot of things, but uh, I don't know we will come another day and uh, I want us to share good things with you, yes. and God bless you very much. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I can see John Mudaka uh, watching, uh, Gengi Karibu. Uh, I see a lot of people, Faith Batia, Geoffrey, thank you for commenting. Pastor Yeshiri, all the way from Kenya, Bishop Pagashara, we recognize you. Apostle Sami Cairo, thank you all the way in Kenya. Choske Dili, God bless you. We're going to leave you with a song here. Don't forget, Jesus is the reason for this season. I, uh, I honor this man of God here, Apostle Joe Moneki. He's one of the gatekeepers in, the, in this city, Seattle. He's, I, I think when I came here at, in uh, 14, 14 years ago, I, uh, he has mentored me. And that's why you see what, I, what I'm doing. It's through, uh, you know, anointed men of God like him. God bless you. Yes, Looking I, forward to see I you again. I remember you were the one who fitted to Kimani William when we, we hosted yeah, our actually, actually, And actually I told I, you, you are going to have your student. Yeah. And this, this is the reality of it. This is, this is what we... This is what and we, we have a couple God, of things. Uh, you are in Kenya. Yeah, you can send something. Don't yeah. just... Don't forget we have a cash app number there. Yeah. You know, I can have um, Mr. Mudaka. Put this, something there. Uh, <laughs> bless this man of God. He's, a, he's, a, he's very loaded and anointed. Oh, yes. Uh, the cash app number is 253. Uh, 27683. We will leave 80, 85. Yeah, 85. 85, sorry. 253 200 7685. Put your money in there and bless the man of God. He is loaded. He's always giving us visions about what's going on. I, I thank God to, for you at this uh, particular time Amen. because I believe you are, you are one of the prophets in amen. the city uh, that we have that this city needed to listen to amen, amen because there are so many things that have come to learn through you yes. you know i didn't know about all these uh seals of uh jezebel all over in this city wherever they are even you when you heard about them tr trying to plant uh whatever they were trying to plant in the schools here you came i remember very well yeah. in our church and we we prayed and and don't, yeah we, we, we asked that the yeah, we broke the, everything. And don't forget, they were even in uh, Olympia the I other day. I, I actually was wondering if I had that chance to come and also be part of what was going on. I, I, would have, I went there and drove along. Yeah.